Hi guys, you're watching Oxy Vlogs. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the notification icon so you won't miss anything. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about the public transportation system in Dubai and I got a question from the subscriber about how to move around the UAE by public transport. So today, this video will be about how to get to other Emirates by bus or by taxi. Besides Dubai, one of the most popular Emirates is Abu Dhabi, which is the capital of the UAE. You can get there by car, by taxi or by bus. It is worth to go there to see uh, one of the largest and beautiful mosques in the world, the Ferrari world and the largest art museum in the region, which is called Louvre Abu Dhabi. If you don't have a car, uh, you can get there by bus. Last time I checked, uh, the price uh, for the bus ticket was 25 dirhams and you can pay for your trip by uh, the RTA no card, the same card that you use for the metro. There are two bus routes uh, from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. One is from Al Hubaiba. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounce correctly, bus station to the Abu Dhabi central bus station and another route is from Ibn Battuta metro station to Abu Dhabi central bus station. Uh, the travel time is approximately one and a half hours. Buses from Al Hubaiba bus station depart several times per hour in 15 minute intervals and from uh, Ibn Battuta station in 30 minute intervals. Another option is to take a taxi. Uh, the government RTA taxi will charge you around 200 to 150 dirhams. Or if you have a driving license and you want to drive, you can rent a car in Dubai. The cheapest car will cost you around 60 50 dirhams per day. Now let's talk about the Emirate, which is called Sharjah. Uh, it's quite a conservative emirate and it's not that popular destination among tourists but let me share some information with you in case you decide to stay there so you can get from dubai to sharjah by bus or by taxi there are different bus uh, routes available from dubai to sharjah and one way ticket will cost you between 10 and 25 dirhams i will leave the link uh, uh, with the list of routes in the description below so you can check it out if you decide to take a taxi it will take you to the destination in 40 minutes and uh, the government rta taxi will charge you around 150 dirhams it depends on the traffic guys another great destination for the tourists and the perfect getaway option for the dubai residents is ras al -Khaimah. it has sandy beaches uh, the tallest mountains in the country um, the largest zip line in the world, I think you probably heard about it, and there are plenty of five-star hotels. So all the things make this Emirate a great place to visit. If you don't drive, the easiest way is to take a taxi and uh, the travel time will be around 1, 1.5 hours and the government taxi will charge you around 250 dirhams. The cheaper option is to take a bus. The travel time will be uh, at least two hours <laughs> depends on the traffic and one-way ticket will cost you 25 dirhams so these were the main tourist destinations in the UAE uh, there are many other beautiful places in this country but I cannot cover everything in this video if you want to know more information please visit uh, rta.ae website and you will find uh, all details there and now let me give you some overview of the Dubai taxis This transport is quite popular in Dubai because this city is not really pedestrian friendly and you cannot get everywhere by metro and not everyone has a car. Uh, taxis are relatively cheap here and compared to some major cities. There are three options on the market, RTA, which is government taxi, and two car booking apps, Karim and Uber. Uh, RTA, I think, is the most affordable option. Every car has a meter and the fare is regulated according to it. The minimum charge is 12 dirhams and you pay 2 dirhams per each kilometer. Uber and Karim are great applications. I like them a lot, especially if you don't know where to go. Because uh, RTA cars 
uh, don't have a GPS system and if you don't know the direction and the driver doesn't know the direction, you can waste a lot of time just driving around and looking for the destination point. Uh, Karim and Uber offer uh, different cars, so the best way to check the price is to download an app, put all your details in there and it will show you the price for your ride. So guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the transportation in Dubai, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer them and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!